You are watching Pharma News. Here are the top headlines of today. Loris Labs gets US FDA nod for Unit 4. Loris Labs has successfully completed the maiden US FDA audit for its Unit 4 without any observations and no Form 483 was issued. Lupin aims to launch new products across geographies this fiscal. Drug maker Lupin aims to launch its first biosimilar product and commercialize its first inhalation product in the US in the current fiscal. Sun Pharma launches Isalor Sprinkle Capsules in US. Isalor Sprinkle Capsules is indicated for three types of lipid disorders in conjunction with diet in adults, Sun Pharma said in a regulatory filing. CDSCO declares 26 samples as not of standard quality and 817 samples as standard quality in random sampling for June. The manufacturers of these drugs are based in Chennai, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, and Goa. Total Pharmaceuticals manages to improve Unichem's financial year 19 profits. After an initial struggle, Torin Pharmaceuticals has managed to improve the profitability of Unichem, which it acquired in December 2017, from 18% to more than 30% in financial year 19. EU and US reach a milestone in mutual recognition of inspections of medicines manufacturers. Under the mutual recognition agreement, EU and US regulators will now rely on each other's inspections for human medicines in their own territories and hence avoid duplicative work. Johnson & Johnson faces criminal probe over talk statements, says report. Federal investigators are likely looking into whether the company misled the public with statements that its stack have always been asbestos-free, Bloomberg reports citing legal experts. Buyers move to block Natco's colorectal cancer brand dismissed by Delhi High Court. Buyer alleged its drug was granted patents in 2004 and is therefore eligible for intellectual property protection rights for 20 years. ICMR frames policy on research integrity and publication ethics to curtail plagiarism in research. A research integrity officer has also been designated in all ICMR institutes by the concerned director of the ICMR institute. Pharma firm Gilead to raise Galapagos stake in $5.1 billion deal. Gilead Sciences Inc. will invest $5.1 billion to raise its stake in Galapagos NV and partner with the Belgian Dutch biotech firm to develop and commercialize its treatments for a 10 year period, the company said on Sunday. Indian Pharma stocks update. Piramal Enterprises up 5.5% and Sun Pharma up 4.4%. Among the top losers are Indoco Remedies and Orchid Pharma Limited. For details, you can visit the link shown in the news bites. And for quick pharma industry updates, download Pharma State app.